someone that, that cares as much about the game as you, what, what was it like just having to take a step back and kind of kind of observe for a few weeks? It was hard. Five, five weeks, four weeks. I mean, last week felt good, but it's like I don't feel like I was, you know, at where I wanted to be. You know, I missed so much. Felt like I missed so much, so I'm not trying to put too much weight on my shoulders by doing too much coming back. So I just want to get back in the groove, help the team win, and keep the streak going so we get in. What was the toughest part about sitting out? Sitting out? Losing. Nobody likes losing. I don't like losing. I think when you go in a funk, it only just affect the guys on the field, affect everybody around you. So coming back in the locker room, you know, energy ain't changed. It's just we know what we're facing this year. We know all the adversity we're facing with the quarterback situation. Jamie's getting hurt. Taysom playing through a lot. Trevor, it's just like, got to stay focused. You know, like, the moment you get sidetracked and not focus on your job, I think that's when you lose your grit and your passion for the game, like you said. So. Was that as long as you ever sat out? And what did you, you kind of do with You know, it's so crazy. I've never been hurt before. That was the first time I've ever been out. Like, I don't think I missed a football game or since last year with Carolina. But I don't, it's pretty durable. So it's just, it hurts, but to be with my teammates again for the next four, five weeks, got to embrace the time we got. Cause like you said, we're trying to get to that dance. We're trying to get there. What did you do with yourself? A lot of guys say they kind of feel isolated when they're going through rehab and everybody else. I was yelling at the TV screen every game. Like I feel that, I played it. It's like, I don't watch a lot of football, but I don't watch us. So watching us and seeing us go through the struggles is like, I know who we really are, and it, it hurt because you know how much them guys care. So that would just hurt me because I'm not, I'm all about team. So when I came back, I just felt like the care and the love and the passion got to just get back in. You know what I'm saying? It was lost, but just got to get that grit back and get back into the routine. You guys always play Tampa really well. What, what is it just about that matchup that, that seems like you guys are the one team that kind of gets Brady confused, making mistakes? And, and I mean, he's the best stuff. quarterback of all time, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. So. You gotta, it's not about X's and O's with him sometimes. It's about understanding the preparation you gotta go into the game because you gotta think about it. This guy can call your bluff from three hours before the game. And you don't want nobody calling your bluff for the game. So you gotta make sure you prepare so when you step on the field. Like you said, you can keep him on his toes, keep him on the edge. Because if he can pick you apart like that, it's gonna be a long night. And we just wanna make sure a quarterback like him, like you said, you gotta just be on your game, you be prepared. You're ready to face what you got to face on Sunday. You do how, the job. how different do they look from, they, when they, from my tone? They look, I mean, they, they're, they're a solid team. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, it's all the way around. So we just got to just go in there with our head focused. Like you said, all the talking ain't going to win you the game. I mean, obviously, y'all seen it. So you got to go out there, play first quarter, fourth quarter. What is it about these, these when you all play them, though, it seems like it's a very emotional game. Both, think, si both sides. Y'all know why it's emotional. Y'all know why it's emotional. Y'all know why. You know, you know, just come in this league thinking you can beat everybody. So to actually get a greater challenge in our in our division and somebody that can, I think it's, it's, it's great. I think that emotion is just more so passion to win the football game. You know, it ain't animosity. I think everybody's out there to win. So if it is, it's just you got to focus on what you can focus on. I think that's what I think that's what our main goal this week is. Like we know it's at stake. You know, we ain't worried about outside noise or we just worry about what's going on for Sunday, today, you know. You, you like you seem like you would like playing in games like this, just the way you're watching. I've been like that since I was a kid. You can go back to my high school days. I played against one of the best probably the best competitions growing up. So just playing against the best quarterback, one of the best receiving cores. Hearing people saying which defense is better. It, it, it make you want to step up, you know? You want to be the best you can be. And that's what I'm striving for. And I know that's what my teammates striving for. I don't know about the other side. Like I always tell y'all, I'm focused on winning ball games and being the best. Going back to that last question, how, how do you out-prepare a guy that's been running the same system for like 20 years? Man, you just focus on you. And when you do your job, I think that's what a lot of teams get misconstrued. You got Don't do nobody else's job. Do what you can do. Do what you can do is all you can do, and they can help your team. That's what the teams draft people for, sign people for. That's why I feel like Coach Peyton brought me here to do, just do my job. And I think everybody here is on the team, they got the same attitude. That's why I think every time we play them, is we know what's at stake. We know what we got to do.
Is there like an element of just kind of like waiting on your moments for them too? Like PJ, PJ was sitting on like one route the whole game, got out in the last play, gets the, the pick six. Is that kind of kind of like the vet that? say? You gotta know who plays is to make it, and that was his play to make. You gotta just you can't try to go make somebody else play. I think just being there and doing your, like you said, doing your job. I think. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good one Sunday. I just, I just, I just feel too good being back and ready. Feet up under me. How far is your hometown from Tampa? Um, Thirty minutes, forty minutes, two hours. So it's gonna, it's really emotional for me. You're getting a lot of requests. I don't go home a lot, so yeah. people understand this. This game more personal to me than anything. So PJ was like uh, eleven point underdog in this game. I don't care if we're a hundred. What that mean? We we're, we're underdogs last game. What that mean? You all won a lot of games when you're underdogs. We, this, this group won a lot of games as underdogs. Before I got here, this group was winning football games. So underdog is just a word, because a lot of underdogs take out the big dog. Do you, is, do you expect, like, what happened? There was, like, a little bit of excitement on the field at the end of the last time you played these guys. It seemed like, do you, does that carry over? No. You know, it's all forgotten. It don't carry over. It doesn't carry it over. It don't bother me. Yeah. It don't take me out of my I am who I am. Did you ever figure out what got, why was Leonard so wild up at the end of that thing? Is that something you have a feel for and discuss? <laughs> no. Next question. Okay. How much did you want that interception last week, first game back? I yeah. thought you had it for second. You can see the energy on the team. It's just, it's just some, I bring that different fire to the team. That's how I feel. It's going to be like that until I die. Yep. Maybe ghost this weekend. I'm pretty catching a lot of them. <laughs> Have a good day. Uh,